Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're back on the crew. This time the crew 2. Uh, I haven't actually done like a live commentary on this game yet. Uh, the open beta just uh, dropped today. So um, I want to do a video on the crew 2. Uh, and uh, we're going to start this off by doing a drift car because um, I really like the drift cars uh, in the game. I, I like the drift cars in the crew 1 a lot so and so I just thought it would be perfect to do a drift car uh, and uh, you wouldn't you wasn't able to do that in the closed beta so now we can do drift event well you had drift cars but not drift events so we're gonna try out that uh, which I ha don't think I've tried uh, the proper drift uh, events yet so uh, that's gonna be cool and I wanted to start off by doing a weird one a for GT uh, as a drift car kind of a weird car but uh uh, let's do uh, a white one for now uh, and uh, yeah let's do those rims we're gonna, ch gonna change them but uh, yes hopefully we'll have some <laughs> money to cust customize this that'd be nice uh, but uh, yes let's see what we have here okay so we're now uh, at our home let's uh, switch to our uh, GT uh, yes there we go the fact that we have houses is really nice uh, can't wait to see what more we can do it uh, with the houses in the, the actual game. Uh, okay, so let's uh, customize it and uh, uh, yeah, let's keep it white for now. It's pretty dark in here, but uh, I suppose that works. This is very zoomed in. Let's see. Okay, so we're actually absolutely broken <laughs> in this game right now. We have no money to do absolutely anything. So we're just gonna do a uh, bumpers because I can actually afford that. Uh, actually has some pretty interesting bumpers um kind of makes me think of i don't know there's there's a car it makes me think of i do like this one uh so let's uh, put that on uh and let's see what more we actually can afford uh oh not really fan of that look um so we're just gonna keep it as it is so that's good saving money i've never had to actually think about money when uh when customizing a car uh, <laughs> in the crew i think the stock one looks no that looks better can we even okay i'm gonna save that for later let's see if <laughs> we can actually afford it so uh, rear wing um i think the rear wing is pretty good as it is so i don't need to really change that uh, uh okay the rear bumper um whoa okay we have a lot of uh, exposed exhausts so Oh, we kind of need to have something. I mean, I mean, this is just weird. We, I can't afford the parts. I should have thought of that before buying this freaking car. But we can, in fact, afford this fender. So, uh, yes, much more than that, uh, we can't do. Except for rims. Rims we can actually put on. These look pretty good on this car. So uh, we're just gonna put that on. Um, I would make them white, but it doesn't really appear as if you... You can like yeah it just kind of looks like that colors are really dark for some reason i think the purple looks really cool actually uh it's probably gonna look better in the daylight so hopefully that will be a thing i wanted to have uh, some more color on top of the car so uh, let's uh, have this uh, and uh, let's uh, see if we can save this and i have to pay ten thousand to apply that all right well now we're out here and um I'm actually going to turn on the audio because I can't hear myself. Uh, but now we're here. And um, we're going to try a event. Alright, the charity event drift. Okay, so let's travel to that. And uh, let's... Let me try my first uh, drift event. Uh, I have tried the physics, but I haven't really done an event. So this is going to be pretty new for me. Oh, we're driving. Okay, let, we need uh, 10,000 points. So... I should actually be playing in manual in this. I've been questioning whether I should play this uh, play through this game in manual or automatic. But for now I'm just gonna do automatic just because um uh I don't you don't really benefit when you if you wanna get like the best times and all that if you're doing uh manual. So for now I'm gonna do automatic. And it seems absolutely fine for drifting actually. Um, let's see, I didn't, okay, objective complete, 
That was a very simple objective. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just see if we can fill out the bar, the yellow bar. Um, I really do like the physics in this game. Um, okay, crap. We're bouncing into walls. Uh, I don't really have much to compare to when it comes to drift cars. So, um, but I th do think that this car feels uh, good. Like, it's, it feels stable. Uh, I The previous car I tried was the 370C. Uh, so compared to the, th okay. So c compared to the 370C, this one feels better. And don't end the drift with a bang into the wall. Just remember not to do that. There we go. Throttle control is pretty important in this game. Okay, the time is up. Twenty-seven thousand. I don't know if that's good, but at least we uh, obliterated the objective. Uh, so I don't know if there's any more drift events. Uh, let's just check on the map. Oh, let's get our loot first so that we can upgrade our car. Uh, kind of sucks that we're going to lose the progress <laughs> of this, uh, but uh, uh, let's see if there are any more drift events. No, there is. There's uh, Airport Terminal D. So let's try that event. And I almost forgot. We need to... Okay, the traction control is completely turned off, so that's good. Uh, yes, let's... Oh, slide help. Let's try and turn that completely off and that off as well. Um, I don't know uh, what kind of effect that is going to have, uh, but let's try that. And we can also do specific uh, tuning here, uh, brake power. Um, I'm not going to play around with that too much right now, uh, but let's uh, do this uh, second event uh, with uh, a slide help completely turned off uh, to see. So maybe that's what's made the, the car feel uh, stable. Uh, may, I don't know if it limits you in any way, uh, but we're gonna see what it feels like in this event. Okay, so let's see how it feels. First corner. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing I felt was that... Okay, you can get way more angle, way more angle. Okay, that actually instantly feels better. It's not as um, easy. Like, you're gonna be able to spin out easier. Uh, so, throttle control is gonna be a little bit more important. Uh, but you can get used to that with practice. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not doing great. The objective is really easy to reach, uh, but doing really clean drifts uh, is the challenge for me. So I just need to get used to the physics. Again, I haven't played around with these physics very much at all. So I'm getting used to it as we speak. Um, But yeah, the, the, I'm super happy with the physics. Like they're, they're the best arcade drift physics that I that I've tried. Like I don't think they could have made the arcade like made the physics better for this game. So I'm I'm super happy with the, the game. But yeah, there we go. I'm probably gonna be grinding this event because this event is uh, quite a bit of fun. All right, so 84,000. I don't know how that how good that is. Uh, but I'm gonna look at the leaderboard and uh, then we can get like a reference point to see. Uh, okay, let's grab that first. And let's look at the leaderboard. Okay, so straight up Pippo, he got 156,000 points. Good job. Uh, okay, let's see the all best. Uh, oh, wow, there's. We're pretty low on this list then. Uh, okay, so. I'd like to see what the best score is. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm an absolute idiot. 375,000 points is uh, the world's best right now. Uh, and we got 84,000. So, uh, yeah, that's something that I gotta work towards. Um, maybe I'll uh, record something uh, after this uh, and I could leave a clip uh, of where I uh, do a little bit better. Uh, but yes, that's gonna be it for this video right now. Uh, if you want to see more of, uh, videos like this with drift cars, uh, well, I'll, I'm gonna do them either way. But uh, if you do want to see more, then 
with a like to show that like and you can subscribe to see more of my videos and uh, yes thank you for watching manu system and i'll see you in my next video